Hey everybody, how's it going? Quick tips and tricks video here for uh, Idea Maker, uh, specifically around printing um, parts that maybe have some small features, uh, and your printer's having a tough time forming those little small features. There's one little tweak uh, in your Idea Maker settings that you can make to make sure that those features show up. Um, and while they may not be completely dimensionally accurate, those features will at least show up uh, in your printed part. Um, so in this case, this is a little um, the R2D2 holograph lens, you know, that goes on his dome. Uh, and my friend Todd and I were going back and forth on Facebook Messenger a little bit because uh, when you go look at this in the slice preview, uh, those little nerls, they wouldn't print. You, they'd stop printing about halfway up. So um, just as an example here, if we take a look, so I've got this sliced with just my normal, um, you know, PLA profile where probably 95% of my parts, 99% of the parts would run just fine with it. Um, except for, uh, you can see these neurons sort of stop halfway up and then you get little bits and pieces that show up and, and others that don't. Oh, excuse me. It's late. Look, it's 11.19. Ah, oh, my big fat face is probably in the way. Anyway, it's late. Um, <clears throat> so, what you need to do, there's one There's one quick little setting you can make here. Um, so if we bail out of this uh, preview real fast, and we go back into our slice mode here and hit edit, and we'll go to our advanced button. And if you go over here to the other tab, this check thin wall single extrusion width, uh, make sure that's checked. And if it is checked, um, uh, it usually defaults to 0.5 millimeter. Um, and so anything that's a 0.5 millimeter feature, uh, you're, if you're using a 0.4 nozzle, basically your nozzle will, will uh, handle that with a single extrusion path. Uh, pass of your nozzle uh, to form the feature. Now obviously the features we were just looking at were something way smaller. They're probably really like a 0.2 uh, if we were to open up that you know that thing in Fusion 360 and measure it um, it'd probably come out to like a you know a 0.2 millimeter feature. Um, so at a 0.4 nozzle with this set of 0.5 you're not going to get uh, those features fully formed. And so if you just tank this down a little bit so in this case um, Let's set it to 0.3. So I'm, we're gonna we're gonna make a bet and say that uh, that thing's probably at least a 0.3 or a 0.4 uh, with feature on those. So you make that little tick, that little change. You hit OK, save and close, slice it again, uh, dump back in here into the preview, and if we take a now a closer look at our uh, our little guys here, they are now uh, printing and they will be fully formed. Um, and work the way I'll the model just like they're supposed to. Um, now you can take that single extrusion with setting that I just showed you and you can dump it all the way down to 0.1 and anything that's got a really tiny feature uh, it will try and print it, and it but it will try and print it with a single extrusion pass um, with whatever your width setting is of your nozzles. So if you're in a 0.4 nozzle and you've got a feature that's 0.1 or 0.2 millimeter well, in the print, it's coming out to a single extrusion width. So if you're going for dimensional accuracy um, of those little tiny features, you ain't going to get it. Um, but in this case, and probably in most cases, you know, it doesn't matter. You just need the feature to show up on your part. Uh, you don't want to have to do a whole bunch of post-processing if you don't have to or whatever. Um, so anyway, uh, that's one little uh, quick tip that you can do to, to make those little tiny features show up. So anyway, sorry for the yawn earlier. I just didn't want to have to redo this thing for like the fourth time or something like that. So uh, anyway, thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll have some more videos here pretty soon. Thanks a lot. See y'all.